It broke virtually every rainfall record in U.S. history. Four years ago, Hurricane Harvey washing away nearly everything in the Beale family's home. Water was everywhere. In the house? In the house, coming from up under the house coming from a roof. The family of six was still rebuilding from that catastrophic storm. Then came February's crippling freeze. Their pipes burst. For days, they had no power, no water. They had to move out again. What was that storm like? Oh, it painful. was terrible. It was painful. How cold did it get? <sighs> Probably so about cold. five degrees in there. Extreme weather from those hurricanes and winter storms in Texas to California's heat wave last summer that led to rolling blackouts growing more frequent and severe. And that has revealed vulnerabilities in our critical infrastructure. Here in Texas, the power grid failed during the deadly cold snap in February. People were trying to heat their homes. Plants couldn't keep up. And that, say experts, should be a warning to the rest of the country. If we do nothing, then it looks like climate change is going to get inexorably worse. Cheryl LaFleur is the former chair of the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. She says we must put the work in to build more reliable and resilient power grids. It's really a double strategy. We need to fight climate change. At the same time, we need to be ready for storms because we can't make everything perfect tomorrow. She points to possible solutions, like building better connections between power grids so energy can be diverted when an area sees a spike in demand. And she says power plants need to be modified so they're better prepared to withstand all kinds of weather. After more than 100 people died in the February storm, some officials here in Texas are pushing to winterize the system so natural gas, coal, and nuclear plants stay online and renewable energy sources like wind turbines don't freeze again. What happened in 2021, quite frankly, in large part was foreseeable and preventable. Sylvester Turner is Houston's mayor. So if we do nothing, what happens to a city like Houston? If you don't do anything, then you're going to repeat this movie over and over again. Uh, and it's going to cost, uh, in terms of people losing their lives, people losing their property, and it's going to affect the overall economy. Meanwhile, Craig and Angela Beal are still rebuilding and bracing for Houston's scorching summer when the grid could be tested again. Do you think this is going to happen again? Yes. I know it's going to happen again. I believe it's going to get worse. As the years go by, it gets worse. Hurricane season officially starts June 1st. However, government forecasters plan to begin issuing routine tropical outlooks in mid-May this year. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.